This is our opening shot. That's a clap. I know you can't run. I realise that. There you go. What? Just hold it. You're a great long distance hiker, aren't you, Ollie? Definitely not. Definitely not. No. It's not, that's not funny to joke about, Richard. Is it not? No, it's not. I can, I can hardly walk to the fridge and back. Oh. This is dreadful. Why are you so non-fit? I'm going to blame it on COVID. Right. But it's not really COVID. No, it's I'm just, just lazy. teenage laziness. Yes. Right, okay. Very definitely. Not to worry. Well, it's nice to have you back on the uh, videos. Thank you. It's and nice to be back. You have made me walk, what, 20 feet? to start this video. Where are we going and where are we? We're in the village of Cookfield and we're going to Holy Trinity Church. So Cookfield is just so that people who aren't from the area, where is it? It's on the east side of West Sussex. On the east side of West Sussex, oh, okay. So it's the county, yeah, county of West yeah. Sussex. Not, we've not gone into East Sussex. Not yet. Not yet, but no. anything's possible in this. And Cookfield itself is, what, is it a town or a village? It's a village. It's a village. Definitely a village. And it's a very picturesque village, isn't it? Yes, I think it's one best kept village. Is it? At some point. That doesn't surprise me. I had a quick shufty round having a look at the wonderful Sussex vernacular architecture. And I mean, it's, there's lots of different styles, you know, because it's taken um, age over, over, taken root over a different time, but very um, 19th century. Yeah, this end of the village is the older part. Is it? And the more north you go, the newer you get. Yeah, and of course the older part being hugging nearer the church. Yes, yeah. yeah. But you've got a lot of Georgian houses, I think. Are yeah, they Georgian? Yeah, I they think could they be. Are. Yeah, yeah. Quite a few of them. Shall we go and have a little look for the yes. church? Yes. Yeah. It's over there. I can see it. Oh, yeah. There's the spire. Big pointy thing. Good. Go. Glad, glad you know what it is. Yeah, it's easily noticeable. So, uh, this is Mary's Church, St. Mary's Church, is it? Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity. Holy oh, Trinity. right. Oh, okay. Cool. Just come forward a bit. Oh. I know we've got the COVID nonsense, but there's only a few more days of that left. Freedom Day yes. is coming. Whoa. Yeah. So, 11 days. 11 days as we record this. Of course, this goes out in 2025. Now, um, Holy Trinity, Parish Church of Cookfield, uh, have you rung the bells here? I have. Have yes. you? I have, yeah. Wow. So how many bells, I mean, it's a big old church, isn't it? Yeah. How many bells does this church have? Eight. Eight? Common number. Eight. Is it? Common number. Well, I imagine it's got a big, wide tower. Are they heavy? Uh, they're, well, not really. No. no. 1,500 weight. That's quite heavy. Well, there's 20 hundred weight in a ton. And right. that's the heaviest bell. So it's just under a ton. Just under a ton. Each? Uh, no, they get increasingly lighter. Oh, because they get increasingly smaller, don't yeah. they? Yeah, higher pitched. Higher it? pitched, that's right, yeah. Because I have I have been up in a bell tower. Yes. I think with you, didn't I, one time? Can't remember. I've been up some of these bell towers. Anyway, um, yeah, so seven or eight bells. No, <laughs> definitely eight, eight bells. bells. Yeah. And you've rung them here. Do you come, <laughs> do you come here often? No, no it's, no, it's not really in the direction where I live. Right. I, have, I do come occasionally. Uh, okay, and have these bells started to be rerun now that we're getting out of you know the mask mandate? I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I think, okay. I think maybe on Sundays. Because you said to me that there's um, people have missed the bells during the last year. Definitely, yeah. In Coleman's Hatch, where we went last time, yeah, uh, we're about to have a lot of restoration done, and they're going to be silent for about six months. 
including the clock chimes. So people can take out their earplugs, can't they, at this well, point? No, everyone was really upset. Oh, they they? really liked to hear them. So. And uh, on Coleman Hatch, you had this mechanical device that you could play Jerusalem on. Mm. Do you have a similar thing here? No. So can you still play Jerusalem? With difficulty. Do you have to um, have an army of people pull in the bells? Yeah, you? you'd have to have some very skilled ringers. All oh, right. So um, you're not going to give us um, a, no. a, 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 no. I don't. I don't. It's not my tower. So oh, I, can't. I see. I just visit occasionally. Oh, okay. I was hoping that this time you could give us something by Miley Cyrus. I could. Next time when we're at a tower, I'll give you the Beatles. Oh, okay. Miley Cyrus is not really. <laughs> There's a sign in there that says, warm welcome to the Holy Trinity, joyfully serving Jesus. That's nice, isn't it? Joyfully serving. Joyfully. How old is the church? Uh, 13th century, I believe, or just just before the 13th century, there was a, pres- a, a chapel in the nave and they had it rebuilt. Did they? When the first vicar came. Ah, right. Um, and it's grade... What is it, grade Gra- one? Grade one listed. Grade one listed. Since 1951. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a magnificent church. And as you can see, it's built from a lot of sandstone. It's got Horsham stone on the iron tiles. Stone. It's that iron stone. And that is the sound of the chimes. They're not very long, those chimes, are they? No, it's quarter past. I think I can see iron stone, and I learned that from your videos. I believe that's iron stone. That... that, that that That's little beer, yeah, there might be a smudge of iron in there. But because there was iron works around here. Yes. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get up on this. Now I know it's not a good idea to go clambering up on tombstones or anything like that. But there is a purpose for this. You alright, Ollie? There's a bit of bad poo there. Oh. <laughs> um, so, you've got me up here and you told me to look at the spire, which looks like it's covered in, I don't know whether that's ash, ashlar tiles, or whether Actually, it's. No, there's another one, I forget, somebody pointed out to me the other day what the. Um, beach? No. No, it's beach. Um, Anyway, Something. it's covered in shingles, not ashlar, it's shingles. Ashlar is the stone. Anyway, never mind all that. So Ash. Wh- ash. is a good way to start. Oh, right. Because, first of all, I should point out that I noticed on the way up that the weather vane is slightly wonky. That's nothing to do with me. No, and it, but it's really annoying me. Right, because so really you have a bit of OCD, don't you? Incredibly. This do is you? so annoying. Oh, dear. Really annoying. Right. But that wasn't why you got me up, no. clambering up here. What is the deal? In 1980, the yeah. spire got struck by lightning and right. completely burnt down. Oh, did it? Yes. And caught fire? A, caught fire, the whole thing. So on, people woke up and the whole fire, the spire was on fire. So this was at night, the spire was on fire? Early morning, on the 1st of May 1980. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow, how about that? And what did it, what, did it tumble down or it yes. just collapsed? So slowly it burnt through it and then the whole thing was gone by about 8 o'clock in the morning. Blimey. And, and did the villagers come out with their buckets of water and... Uh, uh, at the start, some people noticed it was a bit smoky and they started going up the tower to try and put it out, I believe. And it was a bit... Uh, inside it was all on fire. Yeah, presumably but you can get up onto the roof because it's got that cardboard top I and... I presume so. I've only ever been up to the belfry. Right. But there's a, there's a, a, a beam in the belfry, I vaguely remember where the, you can see the top of it's charred and the bottom of it's fine. And it, luckily the bells survived the fire. That's, that's, that's the, incredible. That's the important bit. Well, there you go. There's a really good picture actually of the, the um, weather vane mid-flight as the spire collapsed. And it's the same weather vane which is up there now. Is that why it's wonky? I don't know. I, what is never was wonky, so I presume not. But When it hit the ground, it must have... Well, the whole spire went like that, and there's a pitch, and it landed in a hedge, and I think it was that hedge over there.
What I like about this graveyard, I mean, apart from the fact that it is absolutely massive, um, is that there are sections where you've got all this amazing wildlife and wildflowers, of which, of course, the bees and the butterflies and the various different insects will be feasting on all of this. It's just delightful. I wonder if they do that the older the graves, the less likely people are going to come and visit them, and so therefore they will let the nature and stuff grow round it. I don't, well, it's saying that over there there's some modern graves. Oh, okay, so that's just a theory, so one out, yeah, out the window. But I, what I, I mean, you've got these oxide daisies and various other grasses and things, and then you've got all the lovely lichen and all that, you know, it's just so beautiful and mature, don't you think? I have no clue what lichen is, but yes, I agree. You don't know what lichen is? No. See this? Yeah. That, Isn't that moss? That's not moss, no, that's lichen. Did you go to school? Not really. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I missed quite a lot of it. Did you? Yeah. Why was that? I'm trying to remember. So what, you weren't skiving or anything like no, that? Playing no, truancy in, was... in bell towers? No. I can't actually remember. But I did, in year 11, I did homeschooling. What age are you when you're in year 11? I always get confused with the school years. Like 15, 16. Oh, okay. Um, and it, it was the best thing I've ever done. So you should have done it earlier then? Definitely. Yeah. It was one of my biggest regrets. And it, it shows that school is not always for everyone. No, I, I mean, my sister brought up her kids um, mm. homeschooled. Yeah. It's from a very early age. Yeah, it's great, because you can learn in whatever way suits you best. Yeah. And it improved all of my grades as well. That's even better. So when, then, what, was but, the, what was the earliest point that you got into the ringing of bells in churches? When I was eight, right. in August 2012. Gosh, a date that's etched on your heart. It might have been September. <laughs> <laughs> Some, sometime around the around autumn then. then. Yeah. yeah. Um, and cool. I, I learned at Holy Trinity Church in Coleman's Hatch. No, no. <laughs> this memories thing. You don't. You don't uh, come in a bit. You don't get much sleep, do you? I've slept for an hour and a half tonight. You slept for an hour and a half. Why? Uh, you just stay up at night. What was I? Do? Flight sim. Flight simulator. I flew to Hong Kong. Right, in real time. Yeah. Is it not worth speeding it up if you know that you need I, to be I out? don't think you can. <laughs> can you not? <laughs> I need so to see mean, if there's a setting You just got to sit there with your flight simulator going, can you not put it on autopilot and then just assume that the last 12 hours happened? I, one of the biggest mistakes I've made with that simulator was there's... A, it's a it's weird place. It's so realistic and there's an online community. Yeah. And I bid for a flight from Heathrow to Sydney. You're the pilot, presumably. I bid for a flight from Heathrow to Sydney. Yeah. And it was 21 and a half hours. Wait, hang on. I mean, I know, just bear with us. We're, we're doing a thing about the church and what have you, but we'll be back in a minute. So um, let me get this right. Skip in, ahead in the video. <laughs> in real life, pilots, I don't think bid for flights do they I, I think they do do they i think yeah i think there's if there's a route you want to do you can bid for them hmm. i think or you can just let the people do it for you so yeah wouldn't that be great in other professions in which you just bid so in other words you pay people to do a job for them which they normally pay you but y you bid to do it yeah so anyway, that's why you're tired, because you've flown, but not flown. You've sat in your bedroom and not actually gone anywhere. I did, no, I put it on autopilot. And then what, you could walk about the house? No, I, I went to Coleman's Hatch Church to oil the bells. So well, you're flying, in theory, you're flying an aeroplane on a simulator, and but actually you shove it on autopilot and then you nip down to your local church and oil the bells. Yeah. This one in the enjoyed. middle of the night? Uh, no, I was doing this through the day. I took off when I woke up and landed before I went to sleep. Should we go and have a look at some more of this church before this before video I turns dead, into? I'm yeah. About to fall over. <laughs> God. What's the matter? You oh, are you. <laughs> you're flaked, aren't you? I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't know, that'll teach you. Well, um, it's it's a very lovely church. 
it's beautiful. I'm going to come back and maybe look at it in a bit more depth on another occasion. I think that's probably a good idea. Because inside looks amazing, but we haven't done all that. Um, there's a bit of paper here. Hang on a minute. I've picked up a piece of paper, and it's one of the church's information sheets. It says other items of interest, okay. Substantial remains of the first church from 1667 with associated... Clock church clock yes no the church thank you uh substantial remains of the first church clock from 1667 with associated details hang on the north wall of the tower now i looked at the north wall and there's nothing you stand right back and you look up i can't see it it's on the inside of the tower oh on the inside the clock mechanism this is Oh, see, it's not a dice, oh. the mechanism. Oh, oh, well, that makes yeah. sense. The clock, the present clock, dates from 1872. Its face was repainted in 1991. But it's got some Latin on there. It's got a bit of Latin. It says Tempus Fuget. What does that mean? Time flies. It does when the spire falls down. No, the clock's in the tower, not the spire. Oh, clever. You, I thought you were <laughs> half asleep. I can pick out the fine details. No. Well, Ollie, it's again. always a pleasure to have you on these historic investigations. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. <laughs> uh, do check out Ollie's bell ringing um, YouTube channel. He's hit the thousand subscriber. Goodness knows what they get. Um, but you've got a community <laughs> so channel. Tight. You've got a community channel, haven't you? Oh. Tab. You want yeah. to do a selfie? There will be a yeah. selfie. So check him out. There will be this magnificent selfie of Ollie and I on there. But from me, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's always very, oh. very serious stuff. And uh, we're off to find a coffee shop now. I'm off to sleep. <laughs> I'll just, why don't you dig a <laughs> hole? Just go and just <laughs> throw myself into throw a hedge myself. somewhere. <laughs> oh. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe, become a patron, support all you need, and I'll try to avoid doing any more of this rubbish. <laughs> Just cut the camera. Star swipe. <laughs> Star swipe. Till next time, bye-bye. Right, Bye. see you later. Bye-bye. Have a nice kip. <laughs>